Hi, welcome. And in this Article Forge review and demo video, I'm going to show you uh, what is Article Forge. I'm going to show you a live demo, and um, I think you're going to find it super helpful as an AI content creator. So once you're done with this video, make sure you um, check out the other videos on my channel where I talk about other ways to make money online, the tools that I use, and I think you'll find some helpful information. So make sure you come back and watch some other videos. But let's jump right into this Article Forge. Uh, review and demo. So here's what, uh, what we're going to cover in this video. So make sure you watch all the way through. I'm just going to go over what is Article Forge. I'm going to show you inside my account so you can see uh, how it looks when you're logged in. I'm going to show you how you can use Article Forge to create content on autopilot. There's a really neat way to do that. I'm going to show you a live demo. We're going to create some content in front of you. And then we'll talk about the pricing options. And most importantly, wait to the end of the video because I'm going to show you proof that AI-generated content from Article Forge does help you rank and will get you traffic. So let's first um, start out with what is Article Forge. So here's their page. Article Forge is an AI, artificial intelligence, uh, content writer. The great thing that I love about Article Forge is that by using artificial intelligence, it can write 1,500-word uh, articles very, very quickly. And it, uh, it does deliver unique, SEO-optimized, high-quality content. Um, and that's what I love about it. It's super easy. So a little bit of background. When I first started online 10 years ago, in 2012, I started with blogging because that was kind of the popular thing to do at the time. But I don't like to write. I'm not good at writing. I'm not okay at writing, but I don't like it. I don't enjoy it. I don't find it simple. Just I don't enjoy writing. So I quickly went away from blogging and have done some other things over the years. And and now um, i am come back to blogging because I really do see blogging as a great long-term way to generate passive income. Uh, it's one of the truest ways online to get passive income, meaning... You write a blog post one time, you you know, you um, SEO optimize it, you monetize it with some affiliate links or AdSense or whatever, but you do it just one time and then that's it. And then that content is out there forever working for you in a passive fashion. Um, and so when I learned about Article Forge probably about a year ago, um, it definitely piqued my interest, but I was very skeptical. And so <clears throat> what I decided probably three or four months ago, to give it a try, okay? And so I decided to get into blogging again, and I, it was, uh, I decided my blog is gonna be completely AI-generated content, all right? So let me log in. Uh, here we are logged into my um, Article Forge account. Uh, when you go under my articles, you can see all the articles that I have had created for my blog. And you can see there's five pages worth um, a total of 122 articles that I've created using Article Forge for my blog. Now my blog is in the dog niche, as you probably can tell by the titles. And so um, Article Forge creates all of the content for me. Now I'm not really going to go into finding keywords because that's a, a different topic, but let me show you, we're going to go and do a live demo right now so you can see how Article Forge works. So I keep a, um, you know, basically a, a Google Doc sheet for my blog. And, you know, these are different categories on my blogs, general information, breed information, uh, gear, which is like uh, toys and bedding and things like that, health and training. And so what I do is I have my, key, once I find my keywords, I, you know, import them into whatever category they fall under. And then uh, I run it, I create the article in Article Forge. So I put, you know, when the article was done in Article Forge and when I posted it to my blog. Okay. So you can see this is all my breed information. This is different gear information. A lot of it's toy related, pet related. Okay. And so this is, as you can see, kind of where I'm working at now. I have a lot of articles that are done in Article Forge, but still need to get posted to my blog. Um, health, same thing. I, I was not putting the dates down for this, unfortunately. These were some of the first articles I was putting on the blog back in April, at the end of April. So it's been almost exactly three months I've been working on this blog. 
And so you can see all of them I added. I just didn't, at the time, wasn't putting the date that it was done in Article Forge. I figured what I, I realized what I need to do is have a, a date the article's done, so I know the keyword article is done, and then when I post it to the blog. So I was posting it to the blog, but I wasn't putting that it was done and ready. So, um, and then training, that's the other thing I'm working on. So it helps when I know that it's done in Article Forge, because that way I know, like, hey, these have all been created in Article Forge. I have articles for all these, but I haven't added them to my blog yet. Okay. And uh, so let me just jump right into my blog quick. You can see right now I have 96 published articles, and that's 96 articles in um, right at three months. So basically, 90 art 96 articles in 90 days. Now, um, what I'll do a lot of times is I'll post one or two articles, and then I might miss a day or two, and then post another couple. You know, so uh, unfortunately, I need to be more consistent in posting them. But as you can see, they, they do get posted fairly regularly. So what I'm going to do is I'm working on training. Let me see. Let me see. The last article I put is five great dog toys for chewers. Okay, so I try to mix it up, right? So instead of doing another toy article, let's do um, training dog tools. Okay. Uh, actually, I need to find what I need to create. We're, we're Sorry, we're not posting. We're creating. So let's go dog training tools for walking. So... Let's go into Article Forge. You just click on New Article, and then if we come over here, what you'll see is you just, this is how easy it is to create content. Put the keyword in that you want, choose the language that you want, um, select how long you want the article, from 50 words up to 1,500 words. I make most of mine either 750 or 1,500 words. And then if you do a long article, it'll automatically turn on these add titles, add section headings, and auto-generate section headings for you, so you don't have to do those. Um, but I do like that to automatically add an image for me and add a video as well. And then you have some other options down here that you can see. And then I'm just going to click on Create New Article. And then you can see the progress of the article being generated um, up here. So we'll come back to that in a little bit. So while that is working, let me just talk about some of the other things in here. You can connect Article Forge to your WordPress blog or multiple blogs. And that goes into um, how to create content on Autopilot. Okay. So what you can do is when you have a bunch of keywords, kind of like I showed you examples of here, you, what you can do in Article Forge, now I don't do this currently, but this is how you would do it on Autopilot. Connect your WordPress blogs to here, and then go into Post Scheduler. Now, when you go into Post Scheduler, uh, I'm not going to leave this page just because of I don't want to <laughs> interrupt it while it's writing. When you go into Post Scheduler, you can import that whole list of keywords. And when you import that list of keywords, then you can say, you know, I want how long you want each article to be, um, how often you want those, so maybe one article a day, and um, then, you know, some of these other choices like we did down here, and then basically just hit start. And so if you upload, say, 90 keywords, and you say you want one blog article every day, then you will, then Article Forge will automatically generate a new article for each of those keywords, um, one article every day for 90 days and post it to your WordPress website for you. Okay, so think about that. You just get your list of keywords, uh, copy them into the post scheduler, say how long you want your post, how many words you want your post to be, how often you want them posted to your WordPress website, and you can have that content set up to be done automatically. So that's pretty cool. Um, this just tells you about your usage information because on, on the different plans, um, you have word limits every month. And then um, if you are using things that um, integrate with Article Force through their API, then you can get their, your API key information here. Okay, so, uh, so that's how you create content on Autopilot. It works great. So you really can have an Autopilot blog, which really has very minimal um input from you. We've got the demo going, so let's go and talk about pricing options. Okay, so if we click on pricing, what you'll see 
is uh, you definitely want to go ahead and take advantage of their five day free trial. You know, get the trial started, create some content, see how it works for you. Um, you know, give it a try before you start paying, right? Um, now, they have right now three basic plans, um, and you can see the pricing, how much it is per month based on if you buy yearly, which is about half the cost, versus monthly, okay? So it basically doubles on monthly. Now, when I started with Article 4, they only had this $27 or $57 a month option. They recently introduced this $13 a month option, uh, which gives you 25,000 words per month. So if you're doing you know, roughly 1,000 word articles, then you could have 25 articles every month uh, done for you. So that's pretty cool. Very, very cheap you know, to have all that done for you. This is what I use the standard, 250,000 words per month. So again, I could have you know, roughly 200, 250 articles every single month. I never come close to hitting that. Uh, and then they got this crazy unlimited words per month. So, you know, I mean, if you think about it, right, maybe you say, I am going to create, you know, whatever, 10 new blogs, and they're going to be these 10 different niches. If you have this unlimited plan, you could go in here and, again, use the post scheduler uh, to automate, you know, connect all your 10 different sites to all your 10 different WordPress sites, connect them to Article Forge, go into Post Scheduler, input a list of keywords for site number one, set up your things, and hit Post. Um, go into Post Scheduler, enter your keywords for site number two, set up your parameters, and, and get it running. But you could go in and do that for all 10 of your different sites and have autopilot content going out to 10 different sites automatically for 30, 60, 90, 180 days, however many days you want. And that's truly how you can automate this and get content on autopilot. And to be honest, for $57 a month to automate this is a pretty low price. Um, so we do want to uh, show you, uh, we're almost done here. Uh, so we'll, we'll come and take a look at the article once it's done. You saw how easy it was to create that. Um, and so we're going to get a nice article here in a bit. So while we're waiting that to finish up, I guess let's go ahead and talk about proof, right? Does AI content actually get, will it rank and will you get traffic? Okay, so I'm going to go and let me um, open up my... Bing. So here we are in Bing, and you can see uh, over the past three months. Now, I'm not sure why it took so long for things to start getting. I might have been doing something wrong in Bing, because um, I'm not sure. You know, I started this site back at the end of April, so I'm not sure what happened in May and most of June. But once pages started getting indexed, I started getting traffic from Bing almost immediately. And if we scroll down here, you know, so 80 impressions total, three clicks. I know I've made some sales on Amazon from these three clicks, so it doesn't take a lot of traffic to actually get monetized because I know this soft dental chews for senior dogs keyword, it's averaging the first position, the number one position in Bing, and I've had two clicks uh, you know, to the site, and I know in my Amazon account I somebody purchased dog dental chews. So I know they came, you know, most likely from this Bing traffic. Okay. And so but the nice thing about Bing is you can see it's much, much easier to rank high. You can see the average position for these different keywords. You know, they're all in the top five pretty much. Yeah, basically they're all in the top five. Here's one that averages the number six position and the number 10 position. So Bing can be a great source of traffic. So, and this is all AI generated content, right? Now let's go into my Google Search Console account, and uh, you can see when I start to end of April, boom, started you know getting impressions. So impressions meaning that it's showing up in this content is showing up in the search results. Now it took a while to get some clicks. Now this was when Google did a major update. You can see the impressions uh, here. I'm sorry, this is where they did a major update. It kind of dropped off significantly and then it rose again and then it kind of dropped off and this is part of that google dance where things float around and and for a new site you got to remember it can take six months or so 
to kind of get you out of the Google sandbox and, and stabilize. Um, but you can see really it's most recently been much, you know, uh, averaging about 200 impressions per day. It's dropped a little bit here, so there may be something going on. But now I'm starting to get some clicks also, so not a ton. And obviously averaging in the 81st position, which is not nearly as nice as averaging <laughs> um, 3.6 like in Bing, but this is proof that it works. I'm getting clicks. I'm getting impressions. So AI content does work and uh, obviously much more competitive in Google. But again, I'm only three months in. And so I know this is a long-term play. And as I stick with it, I know this will improve and I will start to um, get more impressions, more clicks, and more results. And I'll be able to monetize my site with ads that way. All right. So here we are back in here. You can see it just finished, so um, finish the article. So click here to see the result, and let's take a look. Okay, so different types of dog training tools for walking your dog. All right, um, <laughs> I guess they grabbed an image of a little doggy treadmill you could use at home. Um, but you can read through this and, um, you know, see it's pretty well written. And then you can, you know, put in Amazon links for like these clickers, harnesses, slip collars, choke chains retractable leash and having a YouTube video is helpful because Google places a lot of emphasis on video and having video content and this is coming from YouTube which Google owns so they like that so I'm going to save this article and now it's going to get you know that'll get put under my articles and once the article is done then you can do anything you want export it as a text file export it as HTML, export it as a PDF, or again, if your WordPress sites are linked to Article Forge, you can have it post, you know, once you've come in here and read it. Uh, typically what I do is I just go to HTML, I hit copy, and then I just copy and paste it myself into WordPress, and that's the way I do it. But Article Forge, it works great. I couldn't be more happier. I did want to show you um, a different AI content writer that I that I have called Word Hero. And I use Word Hero in different scenarios because the challenge with most AI writers and how they differ, differ from Article Forge, and, and Word Hero is very good, um, so I'm not downing them. And you can see they have lots and lots and lots of different things that you can use it to write um, content for. Um, so no shortage of what you can use it to write content for. Mostly what I use it for, to be honest, is uh, I do uh, blog intros to add content to my Article Forge image. So add some more content in the intro. And then I use it for blog uh, conclusions. There we go. Uh, to add content to the end, because a lot of times it's Article Forge just kind of stop and there isn't a concluding uh, paragraph, right? And so, and that also bring your word count, your word count up. So this is probably, a, you know, I said I wanted about a 750 word article, so this is probably in the 800, 850 range. And when I add a blog intro and conclusion, then um, that'll bring it up near a thousand words, which is really, really good for helping with ranking. Um, the downside is, you know, these just kind of do little bits and pieces, and and you can use it to put together a entire article, but it doesn't spit it out like Article Forge. You, do, you saw how easy it was in Article Forge. We just want the new article, put in the keyword, said how long we wanted it, um, said add an image, add a video, and then in, in about five minutes it had this, you know, almost 1,000 word article done. So um, I'll leave a um, link for Article Forge in the description box down below. It is an affiliate link. Uh, so if you use it, I appreciate it. It doesn't cost you any more to use that. And if you found this video helpful, please leave a thumbs up. Um, I appreciate that. And subscribe so you can get more information as I put it out onto my YouTube channel. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it.